So in this problem, we're given a series and we're asked to list its first five terms and then also the first five uh, partial sums. So this is uh, not too difficult. We just start plugging into the series. We'll start with the lowest index. So if we let, um, right here, let uh, b sub uh, p equal pth term, so minus 1 to the p uh, p squared. Well, then b sub minus 3 is just going to be minus 1. I'm going to substitute p equals minus 3. Uh, minus 3 squared, uh, which this is the same as 1 over minus 1 cubed uh, times minus 3 squared is 9. So minus 3, um, or minus 1 to the third power is just minus 1. So 1 divided by minus 1 is negative 1 times 9. All right, now we can write the minus 2 term. And it's equal to minus 1 to the minus 2 times minus 2 squared. Now this is going to be the same reasoning. This is 1 over minus 1 squared uh, times 4. Now minus 1 squared is 1, so we just have 1 times 4. Let's look at uh, the third term, or actually the minus 1 term, or the term with uh, minus 1 index. So this is negative 1 to the negative 1 times negative 1 squared. Uh, this is 1 over negative 1, so negative 1, times uh, positive 1. So we get negative 1. All right, now the 0 term is yeah, negative 1 to the 0 uh, times 0 squared. 0 squared is 0, so this whole thing is just going to be equal to uh, 0. All right, and now for the fifth sum, or fifth term, we get b sub 1 is equal to we get negative 1 to the first power times 1 squared, and we get uh, negative 1. So these are the first uh, five terms. Now what we're interested in is the first uh, five partial sums. So S sub minus 3 is just going to be, uh, well, the first term, minus 9. S sub minus 2 is going to be, well, First term plus, or the first term plus the second term, so b sub minus 3 plus b sub minus 2. Well, b sub minus 3 is just equal to minus 9. b sub minus 2 is equal to 4. This is equal to um, minus 5. And rather than keep adding up uh, the same numbers over and over again, let's just notice that um, S sub k is equal to um, S sub k minus 1 plus um, B sub k. This is true because here we're just adding up the first k minus 1 things, and then we add the k thing. That's exactly the same thing as adding up the first k things. So S sub minus 1 is going to be the previous partial sum, so negative 5, plus B sub minus 1, which, you know, that's minus 1, so we get minus 6. Um, let's see, here we'll have S sub 0, so that's the previous one, so minus 6, plus B sub 0, and B sub 0 is just 0, so this is just minus 6 again. All right, S sub 1, so the part 1 partial sum, which is actually the 5 since we're starting with index p equals minus 3, is previous, minus 6, plus B sub 1, which is minus 1. We get minus 7. So right here we have a list of uh, the first five terms of the series, and over here we have a list of the first five partial sums.